Now, uh, one more problem based on number system sent by a student. Here, 2 raised to 1680 divided by 1763, what is the remainder? Uh, now, friends, the problem looks to be tedious. Um, see, to solve this problem, you must be aware of Fermat's theorem. Now, what exactly Fermat's theorem is? C n raised to p minus 1 when divided by p remainder is 1 if p is prime, right? And simultaneously n and p should be co-prime to each other. That means n must not be divisible by p, right? So, if n raised to p minus 1, n can be any number, may be prime, may not be prime. Right. So, if n raised to p minus 1 is divided by p, then remainder is 1. Right. That is what the Fermat's theorem. Okay. Now, how it is applicable over here? Just listen to me carefully. Now, 1763. It is closer to 1764. That's actually 42 square. So, this number is actually 42 square minus 1. So, it will be actually 42 minus 1 and 42 plus 1. Right. 42 minus 1 and 42 plus 1. So, precisely this is this. Okay. Or we can say this is this. Okay. After you reach here, after that the story is really very simple. Now, how it is simple? 2 raised to 40 raised to 42, that's actually 2 raised to 40 into 42. If it is divided by 41, remainder will be 1, right? Just match. And raised to p minus 1 divided by p, remainder is 1, right? If p is prime, so 41 is a prime number. So 2 raised to 40, if it is divided by 41, remainder will be 1. So that 1 raised to 42, final remainder is 1. That means this number is actually 41x plus 1 format. Right? After that, if I interchange, it's 2 raised to 42 and it's 2 raised to 40 and here it is 43. Right? The next part. So, 2 raised to uh, uh, this 42, if divided by 43, the remainder will be 1 with the same logic. Right? Because 43 is once again a prime number. Right? So, the final remainder is 1 raised to 40, that means 1. That means the number is in 43 plus 43y plus 1 format. That means if we divide the number by 41, that means 2 raised to 1680. That means this number, if divided by 41, then also remainder is 1. If divided by 43, then also remainder is 1. That means finally the remainder is 1. Right? Because the number should be in 41x plus 1 format or 43y plus 1 format. So, that's 1 and then 1764. But 1764 will be greater than 1763. Right? So, remainder should be, uh, remainder should not be greater than the divisor. So, if we deduct um, or we can take the value of x as y as 0, then 1 will be the final answer. Or if 2 raised to 1680 is divided by 1763, the remainder is 1. Right? To solve this problem, you should be aware of the Fermat's theorem. That is the only requirement. Right? And how do you get the clue? Whether the 1763 is actually 43 into 41, that I have uh, shown over here. Okay. Uh, closer to 1763, 1600 is there. That, that's 40 square. So, 1764 is 42, 42 square. That clue you should be able to get. Okay. After that, the story is very simple. Okay. If you reach here, then after that, even if you don't go for any sort of paperwork, then also it's okay. Because this story, you should be able to do mentally. Okay, I hope you are clear.